the dress inappropriately for people to be friends with us. your vision for creating this Christian-based fashion show? Because the boundaries have deteriorated, it's very sexual. What they're wearing, what they're doing on TV, what the ads and magazines are telling us. If not handled or addressed, what problems can this lead to? The girls begin to start wearing clothes that is provocative. If the culture is telling us that it's accepted, then we can't blame these children. They need to be guided. And how did you like today's show? Oh, it was fabulous. Really special. What can parents do today to help instill uh, a sense of this purity? They have more effect on their life than they realize. And uh, dress is one of them. This goes for boys, too. Boys need to look respectful and to look decent. And, and, you know, that's just the way that it is. You're going to get more respect the more decent you look. How exactly do clothes reflect self-esteem and God's purity in us anyway? When you are kind, when you have a quiet spirit, when you are gentle, when you are loving, when you are noble, when you are living a life of good reputation, all those things are going to reflect your inner beauty. <laughs> Unfortunately, um, sometimes we get the two mixed up and we don't want our outside appearance to speak of all of who we are. We want to be able to dress modestly so that others can see that we also live according to Christ. When not shopping at Justice Anthropology, Penny's American Eagle or Target with modest taste, Lady Grace cares for her pure fashionistas and gents as they transform lives by spreading the divine message of fashion can be fun and created in the image of God. Modest style isn't the only thing Grace stands for, but she says it's really about an invitation to answer to a higher calling that begins with the heart. Faith, then, must have great purpose and future waiting for us all. This is Bernadette Rabier reporting for PVC-TV.